Hi friends, I'm Parwiz and this is our fourth video in Python Selenium. So in this video we're going to learn that how you can verify the displayed elements in a web page. So when we are going to automate our web pages, sometimes we need to know that some web elements are displayed on the page or not. Or also the elements are enabled or they are disabled. Now there are three methods that you can use for these kind of functionalities. Uh, we have as displayed. Uh, we have as enabled and also we have as selected. So as displayed, the as displayed action verifies if an element is displayed on the web page and can be executed on all web elements. It returns a Boolean value of true or false. Now you can use as displayed on all web elements. For example, if you have um, a button or if you have uh, input field or check boxes or radio buttons you can use this another one is as enabled now this uh, the as and uh, as enabled action verifies if an element is enabled on the web page and can be executed on all web elements it returns a boolean value of true or false now for as enabled also you can use for all uh, in all web elements, for example, if you have button, if you have checkboxes, radio buttons, uh, input fields. And the last one is as selected. Now, this is uh, this action verifies if an element is selected right now on the web page and can be executed on radio buttons and checkboxes. It means that the first and second one, uh, uh, for the first and second one, you can use on all web elements. But for the third one that is as selected, you can just use on radio button and checkboxes. Also, it returns a Boolean value of true or false. Now, let's just uh, create an example. So I'm going to just from Selenium, I want to import web driver. And I'm going to just create my web driver. I'm using Chrome browser. Uh, after this, we want to open uh, google.com. And now uh, I'm going to just use this search box. So this time I'm going to use the export. So I'm going to just copy the export. And uh, we can say driver dot find element by export and we can just add it in here uh, so after finding this now we can just use our methods we have said that we have uh, the first one is uh, so we can let me just say search box Okay, this first one is dot is displayed. So it means uh, for this we should receive true because uh, this uh, element is displayed on the page and it should return a true. Now after that we have search box dot is enabled. For this also we should receive true because this widget or this web element is enabled in here and we should receive true and the last one is search box dot is selected so for this we should receive false because this is selected method is used on radio buttons and also check boxes now we cannot select this so for example uh, this text input field by this reason for the first and second one we are receiving true but for the third one we will receive false now let me just run this and we are going to check that okay now you can see that the first one is true the second one is true and the third one that it is uh, as selected so for the as selected we are going to receive false because this displayed is true we have the uh, web element and it is displayed and the web element is uh, it is enabled it's not disabled 
and for this two we are receiving true but for the third one it's not uh, for example a checkbox or a radio button and it's not selectable so for that we're receiving false now let's just use on a checkboxes uh, for this I have I'm using this uh, website and also you can uh, uh, this is used for automation so let me just click on the checkboxes so you can see that we have two checkboxes in here the first one is selected and for this we should receive uh, true and the second one is not selected and for this we should receive false let me just show you the example and uh, let me just comment this and uh, copy this so this time we want to use this URL we don't need this Okay, this time I'm going to just use checkbox. So this is my first checkbox, and I'm going to just say driver dot find element by x spot, and we can just find the x spot in inspect. So So this is the check one and this is the check box two and we can just copy X spot and uh, we want to do the same for the second check box let me copy so check box two so this is check box two and it's checked uh, copy X spot okay now now we want to show the is selected in here so print checkbox dot is selected not enabled uh, is selected and we can just use checkbox two dot is selected so for the first one we should receive true and for the second one we should receive false so it will first open the website for us and you can see that for the first one we are receiving false uh, because uh, oh yeah because the first one is not selected and we're receiving false and uh, the second one is selected is uh, selected and we are receiving true for this so thank you guys if you have any question please let me know and for the further videos please subscribe to my channel like and share the video